All right, what's up, guys, and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Rogue. So things have taken a turn for the worst. So far, that's that's what I'm I'm seeing in front of me as I'm playing and and having this story uncover itself to me. So right now it's been about 20 years or so, and we're playing as Shay into the future or in the future. I don't know if there's gonna be like a time gap that we kind of get to fill between when we got caught by the assassins and the betrayal and them shooting us and falling off the cliff. And now there's there's like a 20 year difference between that time and current time. I'm still shocked that we betrayed the assassins. Obviously, when you look at it from his perspective, he believes the assassins were the ones that were lying to him and he was being used. But I honestly, I feel like he was he was probably just going off of emotions. He, he probably felt hurt that he killed so many innocent people. And I, I'm just trying to grasp my my head, wrap my head around grasp. I'm trying to wrap my head around. How is it that we go over to the Templar side? And that is something that we are about to uncover. And that is something that I believe is going to be really, really amazing to experience and watch and that's why we're here as you can see we look a whole lot older i don't know if i go here i don't know if he had this scar from the beginning i don't remember him having a scar but there is a scar there um he probably did have it i just didn't notice uh, but anyways that's neither here or there we are officially um in the future even though it's current time but it is in the future in comparison to where we've been playing the story uh at as far as far as time and years and stuff like that but we are now in a unknown area, I guess we can say, and we are supposed to find out or locate some criminals. I'm sure, we're recording. We are a-okay. Um, and climb up here. I want to say we are a lot more experienced. I don't know what happened after we got shot down. Obviously, we survived, but if we survived, how did we survive? Because if we, let's say we went unconscious, I would assume the assassins probably went down and picked us up or whatever. If that's the case, they didn't kill us. Oh, they, they did shoot to kill though. You know, we did something naughty and I, I, I don't know. It's hard for me to go against the assassins. It, it's something that we've been, I've been on the assassin side. It is called Assassin's Creed. It's not called Templar's Creed or Assassin Betrayal Creed. You know, I've been siding with the assassins since forever, and I will forever be with the assassins. And therefore, I, I kind of hate myself right now. I hate my character for, for doing what he did to our beloved assassins. But you have to understand, right? It's, it's one of those. It's tricky, man. Okay, so anyways. Um, let's see. We've got to find the criminals. Alors, there we go. You have found Yeah, Benjamin Franklin is Notre Dame. Si on se magne, on devrait le rattraper. Arrêtez de vous branler Allons-y Benjamin Franklin. That's who Shea is after. Franklin traveled to England and France, and that guy said Notre Dame. Shea must be in Paris. Time to show me what you got. Eliminate the threat. Protect Franklin. Mm. So we're still a good guy. Oh, look at that. They threw coins. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, this is not good. Not good. This is not good. Why are we getting stuck here? Darn it. Come on, Shay. No. Oh, man, that is amazing. Oh, he looks so cool. <laughs> He looks much cooler now. Help! Somebody help! Il ne nous échappera pas cette fois. Twenty years later, man. Shit! What happened? That's all the data we have. We can't explore this memory further. For now, Shay couldn't have died, then appeared in France twenty years later. 
We're missing something. Shay's memories are scattered in chunks throughout the cloud. The servers are messed up from the virus, so we can't access all of Shay's life at once. You hit a wall, and I'm busy with something. Why do you go meet Otto Berg? You'll find him squatting in one of the offices. Amazing. But orders are orders. Shay Cormac is an assassin. But he is unlike the ones you have used for your entertainment products in the past. I believe Shay may be the most important assassin who ever lived. Your research will help me achieve something I have wanted for a very long time. Shay's story may have something to offer you as well. to get to the next chunk of Shade's memories? Excellent. I'm gonna need the numbskull back if we're gonna proceed. Your next task is clear. But please reflect on what we have discussed. Hmm. Hey, I'm by the elevator. Get over here. Wow. The most important assassin yet? Nah. Really? That is, that is, that's a bold statement there, sir. Maybe his purpose really is that big of a deal. Wandering around? Come see me at the elevator. I got tired of waiting for Melanie's stupid repair crew, so I got this piece of shit working well enough to get you to the lobby and back. I'll get your animus prepped while you're downstairs. Shit, I forgot. The server is behind a level one security lock. I have granted you level one security clearance. I trust there will be no further delays. Great, now you can get into the server room. Once you restore the servers, I'll load the next set of Shay's memories to your animus. Hmm. And you're in. Uh, here we go with this thing again. Points ready. Begin. Go, go, go! Who are you? Don't you touch her! Oh, for God's sake, restrain him! You, give me the child. Oh, shush now. You're all right. Elena, calm down, Mr. Berg. I promise you I won't hurt your daughter. Who are you? My name is Warren Vidic. I work for Abstergo Industries. You quit the Uti Yaga Regiment and became a freelance mercenary in order to afford better care for Elena's cystic fibrosis. How is that working out for you? Arkele! I have an offer for you. I don't work for people I don't know. It's not that kind of offer. I'm going to remove an item from my pocket. What is that? This little pill? <laughs> it's actually for her. Go on, little one. Have some medicine. Stop! There now. Isn't that better? <laughs> this pill will cure her. Mm. It isn't on the market, but it can be yours if you agree to participate in a little training program I put together. What does Abstergo need with someone like me? Oh, you won't be working for Abstergo. However, if you perform, Abstergo could work for you. I want one thing before I agree. Name it. That one there. He upset my daughter. I understand. Gentlemen, release Mr. Berg. Jenkins, give him your gun. What? 
now. Yes, sir. Satisfied? It's a start. Holy crap. Great job, Numskull. Data we have is pretty raw, but it's enough to move forward. Get back up here. Double time. It looks like restoring servers also clears the virus of some of the other systems. You are making excellent progress. I am eager to see what Shay will show us next. Level 1 clearance will also let you into some of the other parts of the building as well, if you need to stretch your legs in between animus sessions. Wow, dude. I've... I... I... I wasn't too optimistic at first, but man, this this game is really. I mean, it's it's kind of like the game that binds both AC3 and Black Flag together. You know, it's 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 a very crucial game as far as the story goes. You see, he doesn't have the scar. Oh, they left them for dead, huh? If oh I said God. that was the craziest shit I'd ever seen, would that be the most obvious statement ever? Shay has been through a severely traumatic experience. Okay. Second most obvious statement ever. Continue exploring his memories. The best is yet to come. See, he doesn't have a scar here, which is interesting. New York, 1756. Oh. Hi. Good to see you're feeling better. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Finnegan, was it? Sweet Mother Mary. <laughs> Have we taken in the village idiot? Barry! Remember, Shay? I'm Cassidy, and this is... Barry! <laughs> You've been ill for weeks. I hate to have been a burden. See? He's a civilized fella. Aye, for a clumsy deckhand. Probably fell off his ship half drunk. Barry! He's right. <laughs> what do y'all want? <gasps> What's going on? Are you kidding me? No, oh, come on. You wretch, how dare you? Shut up, woman. Oh. Leave her alone. Ah. Oh, no. Now, what are you going on about? Stay out of this, you fool. But I was going to, but now you've made things personal. Don't worry, you about to, you, you guys about to get saved, and Barry's gonna learn how to respect me. <laughs> and don't come back. Thank you, Shay. In my younger days, I could have taken them one-handed. Why were these men bothering you? Ah, the usual. They feel they're owed money because they're not Harmon citizens. Mark me words, those gangs are going to be the downfall of this city. Wait here, I have something for you. It won't do you any good walking around Starkers. Here, try these on. They were our sons. <coughs> I suppose if you're looking for trouble, you'll be needing these. Thank you. Interesting. Wow. 
Don't you look a right, gentlemen? Gas. Did I have a book with me? Mm, just those peculiar weapons. Thank you both. <laughs> if you'll excuse me. The manuscript is at the bottom of the Atlantic. Wow, dude. Now, who was their son? Maybe, maybe it's not important. You again? You regret this? The Finnegans are dead. Hear me? Dead. Okay, so where are we now? Are we back in twenty years later, or, or is this current day time now? Tackle him. Oh, come on, dude. What is going on here? <laughs> what have you and your friends got against the Finnegans? Uh, I got no gripe. My boss sent me over. Uh, and where is he set up? You can't miss it. There's always black smoke rising from the courtyard of that building. Take over the gang headquarters. Okay. Oof. This is so different than any other Assassin's Creed game. So locate and kill the gang leader. Gang leaders will hide and try to ambush you, but you can encounter their attacks. Listen to the whispers, uh, which will reveal the presence of the captain hiding nearby. Use Eagle Vision to locate them. Get the, the danger compass. The compass will fill you. I will fill up as you get closer to the target. Interesting. This is our turf. You're no friend of Locate ours. and kill the gang leader. Cut down the gang flag. Oh. Oh no. You sure about that? Get him, boys. How's oh, this guy not dead? What is going on here? Well, thank you, dude. One of the objectives was probably to not get spotted, but of course, me and my dumb self would get spotted. <laughs> Cut this flag down. Help your master. This is so cool. Okay, so then locate and kill the gang leader. Right over here. Let us make our stand. That's the gang leader. I'll put him to sleep better. Oh. No, not. <laughs> not the civilian. Are you crazy? Come here. Oh, we just hung his ass. That was crazy. We just hung his ass. <laughs> That's not funny, is it? No, it's not. Hmm. So these are like liberating outposts, but obviously in New York. Interesting. That will help with smoke. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. Be at ease, Master Cormac. We are friends. The Finnegans were worried you might take matters into your own hands. I am Colonel George Monroe. Colonel? I came to help, but I see I am late. Thank you for dealing with these foul criminals. They were a blight on New York. 
What do you care? You redcoats are nothing but landlords. The townsfolk here are grinding away, trying to make a living. I cannot blame you for having that impression. Some of my comrades have been less than helpful. But I take a different approach. And what is that? I care. I want to see these colonists safe and prosperous. Noble words. Perhaps actions will convince you otherwise, Master Cormac. Hmm. Trying to convince me? I think yeah. he is. Reclaim what they have stolen. I think he's trying to convince those guys. Now look up you some of that money for the good of the city. Interesting. I realize you have no reason to trust me, Master Cormac. You said you were a friend of the Finnegans. Their late son worked for me. You are much like him. How so? He cared. And he wanted to do good by the people. We shared a dream, he and I. That of making the world a better place. Mere survival was not enough. Full bellies, warm clothing. Freedom from want is the greatest freedom of all. It almost sounds like you have goodwill towards the people you govern. I do not govern, Master Cormac. I merely assist. Wait, so this guy... So this guy is... See this neglected edifice, Master Cormac? We can make it better. Urban renewal is a new science, but one that has already proven effective on the continent. I've arranged for resources. Use them to improve that building. I don't know if I buy it, dude. I don't know. Renovations are a major source of income. You need to acquire the necessary resources before performing. Okay. Wow. Oh my goodness. What fine work. The neighborhood should be much better now. So this guy was an ally to I suspect New York will prosper under your watch, Master Cormac. You can do great things for this city and its citizens. After all, a man needs purpose. Farewell for now, Master Cormac. Interesting. So this guy is, um, the guy, this, this, this guy that just brought us here. He was an ally to the late son of the, to, of, of the lady, the old lady and the gentleman, the old man that took over us and then obviously gave us clothes and stuff like that and this was his uniform the colonel strikes me as an honorable man someone who wants to do what's right and he may have a point with everything that has happened with what i've done i can't change the past but maybe there's a future for me here and maybe just maybe i can do what's right this time i should head back to the finnegans let them know I'm fine. So th this is why he becomes a Templar. He believes that this is like a second chance of, hi of you know, at him doing what is right and righting his wrongs. Which in his eyes, what he did was wrong. And it was due to the assassin's betrayal in his eyes. Well, we'll see. We shall see. Look at this little white picket fence. How cute is that? Shay! Colonel Monroe told us what happened. You, sir, are a fool. But thanks. <laughs> Master Cormac, I am sorry to bother you when you were barely out of your sick bed. No, I... I've had enough of being cooped up. Then perhaps you could get a friend of mine out of trouble. He discovered a nest of criminals developing strange weapons. Look at these. Bullets as loud and bright as firecrackers. If we might have a moment alone. His name is Christopher Gist. And he might be in over his head. I fear these brutes will hang him like a dog. Will not let those outlaws have another victim. Good. The villains are entrenched at Old Fort Arsenal. I have urgent business in Albany. Please tell Master Gist to join me there. Hm. 
I don't know if I trust this guy, man. Everything seems too good. It could be a rare breed, you know, and maybe he is a good person. Right, so we gotta prevent uh, this guy from being hung. <gasps> Christopher Geist. Interesting. Firecracker. The firecracker dart creates a common commotion that attracts everyone's attention. No way. Oh my god. Um Yeah, that's probably not going to work out for me. Yeah, definitely not going to work out for me. I'm going to have to go I'm going to have to go through here. And then probably I should have probably saved that man. Darn it. I gotta take this guy out. It's gonna be a pain in the butt if I don't. Alright. This bastard nicked what we rightfully stole. Let's say we give him a stretch. Kill him! Let him hide. Oh man. These ruffians are part of the same gang who made trouble for the Finnegans. Oh god. Come here. Come here, come here, come here. So can I shoot? Hold on. I just gotta defend him. Christopher Guest, I'm Shay Carmine. Charged! But what are you doing here? Don't mind the action. The Colonel sent me. Aha! Put on your gas mask. Oh my god. Throwing grenades! No! No! He threw a grenade right there! You fucking crazy! Enough is enough. Damn it. How dare you disrespect me like that? <sighs> Good show, Shane. A little painful there, man. Ran them right out of their own dead. Well, I was looking for a new place to live. <laughs> well, don't put your name on the door yet. There may be a few men left on their ship. Look, the bird is nested right over there. The Morgan. What is she doing there? That's my ship, friend. Begging your pardon, but I must go fetch her back from those louts. Oh, wait! I can hardly let you do that alone. Help me if you can, then. No way. So who are we gonna kill here? What's about you, Shay? Criminals are everywhere, and most of them look just like law-abiding citizens. And they've been harassing the people who've nursed me back to health. Sounds like good folks. They are. Perhaps you know them. Barry and Cassidy Finnegan. I've never met them, but I knew their son. Careful now. These ruffians can be anywhere. You can draw them out by making noise. Oh, I've got something better than that. Well, you seem to be more than capable of taking care of this matter. The gang stalker. Finnegan. That sounds very familiar. Finnegan. Finnegan. Stalker. Hide in and wait to attract the uh, attack unseen. You can fight them if you block their attack or use firecrackers to draw them out. You can also use compass and eagle vision to point out the gang stalker. A stalker is nearby. Use eagle vision to locate the stalker. If stalker sees you first, they will attack. I tell you what, I shall find a new crew for your vessel in case you have to leave post haste. Okay, 
Alright, shoot a firecracker. Nice. Knew it. But they hide. They like to hide. Now, where could that stalker be? I'm actually going to go ahead and jump. See if we can make a climb all the way up to the top. As soon as this guy turns around. Oh, there's a sniper up top. Okay, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Come on. Don't give up now, Shay. We got this. <laughs> That's always so damn nerve wracking, man. Wow. Cutting off the freaking assassin flag, dude. She's a fine ship. And true to my word, I found a crew for her. I did leave one position unfilled, though. Tell me, Shay, do you have a first mate? He's long gone. Then I apply for the post, Captain. I'll come aboard. Damn, dude. I have no idea how this is going to turn out, but it's not going to be good. Who is in charge of the ship now, though? That's what I'm wondering. As your first mate, may I suggest our next destination? The Colonel will be expecting me to report back. My thoughts exactly. Colonel Monroe said he'd be in Albany. Right. Splendid! Look at those flags. Look at those colors. Ugh, the enemy is my ally. Or I'm the enemy. That oh my the god. The colonel waits on Albany. I wonder what he has in mind for us to do next. Us? I thought you just wanted to check in with Monroe. Not sign me up for the army. No, 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 Shane. But I admire the colonel's ideals and want to make them happen. What kind of ideals? Secure borders, prosperous farms, fair trade. We need those in these wretched colonies. Sounds like a high-minded utopia. It oh. rather does. Want to help make it happen? Colonel Monroe is an intriguing man. And he certainly seems honorable. I can't believe we'll this. Albany. After that, I'll see. Split. The Full go. sail ahead, lads! I hate this guy's voice. It's so obnoxious. <laughs> Circumstances. Huh. In good health, I see. Yeah, thanks for the captain here. It is a fine vessel, Captain Cormac. Thank you, Colonel Monroe. Master Gist, did you learn more about our conspirators and their new weapons? Well, only that their base of operations is a French fort further downriver. It's a little close for comfort, isn't it? If the French have installed a fort in our territory, they are likely preparing an assault. New York could burn. Will you join us, Master Cormac? Aye. Enough innocents have died already. Uh, might I suggest we improve our vessel? The Morrigan is good, but with a few more supplies, she could be unstoppable. And you know, there's a French outpost nearby I happen to know. I like the sound of that. Okay, so sail to the French outpost. Damn, the whole squad is here. Oh, man. What sort of business are the French up to there? <sighs> Just occupying the territory? It is an economic incursion more than a geographical one. Some of the ruffians are sponsored by enemies of the colonies. They intend to undermine local authorities. I've heard they steal from civilians and resell essential goods for ten times the price. 
It's always the little fella who gets Colonel, you and Jess here seem to be fired. There's something in the water, or the whiskey. Now why do you say that, Mr. Cormac? I think Shay here is skeptical about our intentions towards our fellow man. I understand, but there is no need. I simply want these colonies to be a place we of bury. safety, development, and purpose. Be nearby, Captain. Funny. I thought rich men wanted them to be a place of profit. Hmm. I don't think I'm ever going to get used to this. Honestly. <laughs> Wait, did we dock? We haven't docked? Are you kidding me? Captain's at the helm. I am not a rich man, Master Cormac. Money is a means to an end. Not an end in and of itself. Right, let's get it. So to the French outpost, we are here. Maybe we should uh, sync up over there and proceed on further. Hang the key holder using the rope darts. Infiltrate the outpost. Oh, that's nice. Et la menace de la guerre plane au-dessus de nos têtes chaque jour que Dieu fait. Sorry, boys. Don't take it personal. I mean, I will say the, the experience is unique because we're playing as the bad guy now. So it's, it's pretty fucking cool. I mean, I, I don't... I just don't understand how Ubisoft actually did this. It was all about the assassins and the creed. And the apples, the apples of Eden. And plotting against the Templars for their rude behavior. And yet here we are. <laughs> Unbelievable. Okay, so of course I'm gonna sync up just in case we're probably gonna have to fast travel here again, uh here again. Let's get that over with and I can also see where we can head in by yeah, so that is a gated community if you will and I see a tree here that we can use to get inside perfect see so that actually helped Okay, I'm gonna loot him up. I'm gonna make sure I pick up the body and throw it here. Leave no witnesses behind. Alright, I'm gonna climb up here. Oof. Interesting. Oh, yeah. Locate the soldier with the warehouse key. As per usual, we're going to have to hide the bodies. As we know already, these guys get a little crazy. There's a guard coming. It's actually two guards coming. Perfect. One right there. Nice. Don't say anything, stupid. You crazy? Where's the key holder? Ooh. 
Oh god. That's not what I had in mind. <laughs> I've been playing this game all day. I'm a little rusty right now, okay? This is like the third session I play all day. Alright. Now we're headed to the warehouse. Probably gonna have to take these guys out. I mean, what do you expect me to do? Okay, head to the warehouse. Nice tobacco, cloth, stone. So now we use all of this for our ship. Reach the captain's cabin. Alright, let's get out of here. I think one of the optional objectives was to hang him with a rope dart, but... That that just wasn't gonna that wasn't gonna happen today. Not not right now. It's one o'clock in the morning. If you didn't know, and just in case you were wondering, it's one o'clock, one thirty to be precise. What is going on here? Up with y'all, man. Yeah, man, I got you, bro. Okay. Let's go back to the captain's cabin. What I do like is that we're not like a soulless Templar or bad guy, if you will. You know, we have we have decency and we have morals and certain rules that we follow. Oh, upgrade the... Okay, here we go. With mortar. Okay. New item. Now what? Capture the fort. Okay, so we can actually add more upgrades here. We're gonna go here and we're gonna do... Uh, Cannons on the side. Bounce shot. Explosive shot. Ooh. Heavy shot. Yes. These are actually very useful. So we've got to do that. Uh, front carronades. Uh, we'll do more of this. And what else can we do? What else can we do? What else can we do? I think that's it. Round shot strength. Yeah, we'll do that. Perfect. I think we're okay. So the heavy shot. This is really, really important. This is really, really good. Now, I could change my uh, my outfit. I've got a bunch of different outfits um, due to when I downloaded the game. Since we've played so many of the Assassin's Creed games, it gave me the option to be able to choose or it unlocked for me like a bunch of different, you know, hoods and robes or what have you but like Splendid. we've been doing we're gonna that keep it natural organic before the morrigan holy crap mordar you can now fire mordar <laughs> i didn't want to do that that fort should offer little resistance we're about to go head to head with a fort and there it is Oof. 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 Oh man, that was nice. Wanted system, your actions won't stay unpunished. Right, we got this, man. Nice.
Yeah, this is pretty much like Assassin's Creed 4. I mean, we're not new to this. We've done this before. Okay. I'm going to go back around real quick just so I can... I do need, uh, I need to uh, fix my my armor, though. We're actually doing pretty bad. I don't want to be roaming around for too long because... Oh, the freaking... Oh, God damn it. The loot just went away. You know what? I'm not even going to bother with that ship. I feel like if we just take too long. We're going to get screwed with the other ship that's coming to kill us. Okay, so we're just going to get off here. We got this. Here we go. Let's get this. For LaCroix. little side path here show these boys how we do it go 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 nice kill the french lookouts oh that's simple stick to the tops Oh, that's it, dude. Oh, you've done you've done a grave mistake. Just go up here. You shall fall asleep. Oh, fuck. Oh. Reach the war room. So you don't have to. This is a little bit different. On the other one, you have to kill like X amount of soldiers. We're gonna get the hell out of here. Here we go. Oh, I gotta become anonymous. Of course. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. This should be rather easy. Excuse me, boys. Whoa, whoa, what happened to that guy? She is actually quite insane. Oh, okay. I like it. Le chasseur. Say. It has been so long. Were you on a special mission? Yes. From Achilles. How interesting. So am I. Don't make me do this, Ashasar! You would assassinate me? I thought that was your specialty. We could both just leave. Ah, but then I would tell your brothers that you are alive. You have to kill me, Shay. You see, he's not bad. Like, Shay's not necessarily bad. I can't believe I have to kill this guy. Ah. Oh. You are always good at your business, Shay. As were you. Tell me, what are you doing in land? Special weapons. Poisonous gases to use against colonial authorities. I am merely a delivery man. This is so wrong. Your final delivery. Be swift. <laughs> this is so wrong. <laughs> It's like we just got introduced to these characters and just like, all right, now we're gonna go kill them. Damn, look at this. Oh my god, there's no hood on, there's nothing. It's just Alright, I am just I am wondering how this is all gonna end. This is gonna be crazy. We're probably gonna die. Oh, look, that's Florida right there. Interesting. Le Chasseur was right. I... I had no other choice. If the assassins find out I'm alive, they'll come after me. Damn. What a bad one. 
Alright, so I'm gonna fix up my ship as well before I forget. See, can I go this way? Yeah. What's on your mind, Captain? Uh, I want to repair my ship. You know? Can we do that? No. All right. Well, thanks for nothing, right dude. While you were busy taking down that fort, I happened to stumble upon the treasury. You don't say. It was the damnedest thing. <clears throat> uh, well, in, in any case, amongst other things, I found maps and charts detailing various French trade routes. What are you thinking, guest? I thought perhaps we could use them to um, help the Royal Navy and fill our pockets. I stored these maps in your cabin, Captain, should you wish to use them. Okay. Axis fleets. Mm, okay, yeah, everything's very similar. So, Louisiana, Duke. I'll go with this one. And. Hold on. Oh. There we go. Returned. You received a collectible. Florida. Um, send ship. The Victoria. Perfect. Alright, how about this? Can I, um, repair my ship from here? Interact. Oh shit. Why thank you. <laughs> all right, so now we got to go all the way. Jesus, back over here. Colonel, thanks and congratulate you, Shay. He has returned to New York. But you look troubled. Do, do you ever wonder if you're doing the right thing, Gist? If you chose the right path? Uh, I used to, my young friend, but not anymore. Not since I met the Colonel. And what's the question? The French are entrenched in our territory. It's about time we root them out. Of course. You're right, Gist. Let's head back to New York. Hi, Captain. He's having second thoughts. Man, this is gonna be this is gonna be a rude, rude awakening for us. And welcome to Lower Manhattan. <laughs> we are in Manhattan. Um, oh look, City Hall. Cool. So we're relatively close to our destination. I had to sync up because, you no, know, just make our life easier eventually in the future. Better come back here. There's also another fast travel point here. Another sink point. Which we haven't done. But that's okay. Ah, Master Cormac. What you have learned from Le Chasseur was confirmed. The local lawbreakers are changing tactics. What's their plan now? Their boss has hired Benjamin Franklin to produce new weapons for them. He's very well guarded. Benjamin Franklin? <laughs> the scientist? You have heard of him. Good. He is making equipment to spread gases among the populace. Toxic ones, as it turns out. The populace? I thought they would use it against the authorities. Though that would be terrible as well. The ruffians we have arrested refer to an intimidating woman. I believe she is behind these nefarious plans. I look into this. Thank you. Oh, man. Oh, my God. This is bad. Hope. I pray it's not you. Oh, my God. Oh, this is terrible. This is terrible, dude. Oh my god. This sucks so bad. Did you see him today? He hasn't stepped outside in 
What Frank been working on? But it sounds explosive. <laughs> the boss really wants Franklin isolated. Um, no one interrupts his work. Really? I will kick your ass to the next. I can't find anything. I'm cut out for this snooping around. Give me some. Oof. This is not for you. Here we go. Shay, oh, it is good to see you again. Your friend Hope said you were away. I, I, I was. Sir, I, I've come to collect the results of your experiments. Oh, well, it's a very good thing, then. I just finished fixing the prototype. Here you go. Whoa. I was preparing to leave for Philadelphia, and then Europe. I was invited to lecture in London. Oh, would you be so <laughs> kind as to inform Mistress Hope? Uh, of course. Bro. Because he doesn't know. Oh my god. god. Hope. <laughs> what are you doing with these felons? Turning the city against itself. What have you become? They're not. I think I think this guy's just brainwashed now. Something the matter, Master Cormac? Uh, no, no. Yes, just old memories. When I am issued new recruits burdened with regrets, I tell them the surest way to lose them is with gunpowder. You're right, Colonel. Ooh. This prototype seems very powerful. Use it with care, Master Cormac. Our intelligence says this thing can destroy certain fortifications, as well as injure several enemies at once. There is also a more subtle way to use it. Some of these grenades contain a strong sedative. Fire one into the crowd and they will fall asleep immediately. We should test this new weapon. Use it against that door. Grenade launcher. The grenade launcher is a powerful ranged weapon with it. Uh... Which can use a sharpener, berserk, or sleep grenades. You can purchase grenades for general storecraft. Okay. Use these grenades to destroy that door. Oh my god. Holy Good smokes. Work. Good work. I think you were ready to turn this new weapon against the ruffians who would have used it. There is an abandoned factory nearby hiding a dangerous poison. Right now, it only causes sleep. But I fear those outlaws are distilling it. A more powerful formula could sicken or perhaps even kill most of New York. But that's my first target. Be careful, Master Cormac. We understand that the ingredients are highly unstable. All the better. Oh, man, I... See, I, I like how this is happening though because now he's he's coming back around to where he has to probably face his past and his friends or people that were his friends and he has to kill them dude this is insane this is a genius idea it sucks but i think it's pretty cool i know i probably sound like some sort of sicko or something maybe <laughs> i can break the whole system Wait. Oh my god, I'm using the wrong one, man. Oh, I'm using the wrong one. Oh god. Oh my god. Oh, because that puts him to sleep. If you destroy that, it. Oh, the gas that it releases. This is 
dangerous. <laughs> yes, it's really dangerous. So what I'm going to do is, oh my God, I keep throwing the wrong one. You know what? I'm actually going to hide here. Nice. Kill three guards with a single grenade. Oh my god, this is, this is so intense. <laughs> this is intense. I like the use of new weapons though. This is cool. Okay, so what I can do here. Um, let's see. Let's go up here then. Screw it. Yeah, let's go up here. Hold on, be careful with that guy. He doesn't kill us. And the last one is... Where's the last one? Is it up there? Oh, hold on. Oh, it's in here. Okay, hold on. Let me go ahead and uh, go ahead and sync up. It's inside the warehouse, of course. Bro, those dudes are sleeping still. Like, that is crazy. I think they're going to sleep for life. I mean, they haven't. <laughs> they still got the same sleep status. They're going to be there for a long time. <laughs> oh, man, that's funny. Yes, you've said that already, dude. Please stop. You know what? I'm actually going to use this. I killed three guards with a single. Hmm. Well, that didn't work. Hey, what are you doing here? That didn't work. Oh, God. Me trying to do the optional objectives, and look what happens. Of course. You know what? Forget it. I'm done. Let's 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 just go ahead and do what we gotta do. Can I break this? Let me just lock pick it. I don't wanna have to make any more noise. It's going nice and easy. Just like that. And then the last one's gonna be right here. Good. Must get out. Oh, I'm as good as dead. Oh, don't worry. I'm out. You got to tell me twice. Put on the gas mask. I love that. Oh, you stupid. Oh, my God. She just... Oh, my God. What marvelous destruction, Captain. I saw the smoke all the way from the Morrigan. That should discourage those miscreants. New York is safe for now. With all due respect, Colonel, it's going to take more than a few explosions to get rid of this kind of trouble. 
The boy is right, Colonel Monroe. Shay, was it? Congratulations. You just burned a whole lot of rats out of New York. I'm Jack Weeks. This is William Johnson. I don't know hmm. about him, but I'm pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you as well. It is uh, terribly dusty here. I'm sure Shay can recount his adventures to us over a pint. Hey, the first round's on uh, the Colonel. Huh? <laughs> Something the matter, Master Cormac? Just a little confused. I uh, must have breathed some of that gas. Some ale will do you good. Come, we are all friends here. You will be taken care of. This game shows um, how every story has a side. Every story has a perspective, you know? Like somebody that's an enemy to you might be the other way around, you know? So if you have an enemy, then you're always the enemy to them. You know, I don't know. Maybe I'm just sleepy and I'm talking bullshit. <laughs> but this, I, I really like this, 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 like where the story is going. I like this. I like the conflict that is about to occur. Eventually, I think it's marvelous. Hmm. What is that? Could that be? <gasps> Dear Master Cormac, my apologies for the brevity of this missive, but it is time we were honest with one another. You have demonstrated your loyalty and resourcefulness to the Templar cause, and this despite <laughs> and perhaps because of your assassin origins. The manuscript the assassin sought has been in my possession for some time. I reclaimed it when my men found you marooned. The Grand Master himself charged me to discover its meaning, a task I regret I have failed to complete. I leave it in your charge, Master Cormac. There is no one else I trust more. Now I leave for Fort William Henry, an ill-prepared garrison surrounded by hostile natives and the French army. We have requested reinforcements, but I doubt they will be forthcoming. I have no illusions that our resistance will be successful. I commit my life to the British Army and my soul to the Father of Understanding. Yours, Colonel George Monroe. Freaking oh my goodness. <laughs> this is getting good, guys. Oh God. Oh God. Well. I guess we'll leave it at that. Sequence four begins soon. We're almost halfway through the game, which is kind of crazy because I've done this all in one day. And obviously the episodes will be out, you know, throughout a couple of days. But um, that was one way to end it, man. That was actually crazy. He knew what we were all along and he had that book all along. I don't even know what to say at this point. It's extremely late here. So I might be there might be some parts in this playthrough in this episode that I might be playing like a fool. But it's like two two something in the morning right now. And um, I just try to do as many episodes today as possible just to pump them out. But uh, I might not be here during the week. So I have to kind of plan ahead. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what your thoughts. The story is getting intense. I cannot wait to see the confrontations. Um, when we see our allies or ex-allies and what is going to happen. Are we going to go towards the assassin side? Are we going to end up really betraying them all, all the way through? Are we going to keep killing assassins or once our allies? Or are we going to turn back? And, 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 you know, turn against the, uh, the Templars. Only the future will tell. But thank you again. And I hope you guys had a good one. And, uh, yeah. I'll catch you on the next episode. Peace.